Bermagui is a small fishing township on the south coast of New South Wales, along the Sapphire Coast. The family grew up holidaying here. Now the children have children, so it's a coming together of place. They wanted to create a new space where everyone could have these memories. The house has a kind of undefined entry. It brings you together at the one central seating space. It invites you in, but it doesn't tell you everything. You have to explore. There's a little bridge in between the two main sections of the house. And then you can see glimpses to discover what's beyond. The apertures are really carefully considered. Then when you come up through the staircase and arrive at the top, you see this beautiful big view is exposed to you. You don't need artwork because the view is the artwork and the place is the artwork. It's almost like it forces you to have a holiday away from the constraints of a traditional home because it takes it away. The materiality will age over time. The steel and the timber blend well together. And furthermore, the masonry extending internally to externally allows for that seamless relationship and timeless grounded nature. The order of that masonry is critical to this home. Everything is really carefully controlled and pared back so that when you come here, you can be restful. I think without that, the house wouldn't feel so transient with nature. The air moving through it, the smells, the scents are really based on layers and level play. It's a very special feeling. There's something about the screens that really soften the edges of this home. In the bunk room particularly, that one shifts along depending on the time of the day in the sun, so there's a giant sliding stacking door. And I think the way that the blockwork has been used on the flooring, kids running in and out, wet or dry or sandy or muddy, the materiality has been able to take that on. My favourite space in this home would be this lounge room. There's a beautiful white suspended fireplace and the view, the ships coming in and out, the trawlers and the whales. You feel cosy, but you also feel connected. My favourite spaces are the in-between spaces. I enjoy the experience of journey. All the doors slide into the walls, so it's like walls, but then it's not. And it allows all this natural light to come through, so you can see the shadow of the battens, or you've got the beautiful sunlight shining onto the blockwork as well. It's a real luxury to have those places of observation. I feel like we were able to tap into the spirit and the story of why the family come to Bermagui. When you think of the summer holiday and you think of those beautiful moments, this is sort of the place setting of where you would have those moments, where you can feel like you're part of the sea. It grounds the spirit and allows you to have a real break. <laughs>